terrible. Well, let me just find the right song. Uh, oh, I don't know what song to put on. Fuck it. Always a classic. Oh, there's no music for this, is there? Oh, no, because it's on a different... Already a terrible stream? Oh, my God, and I'm peeking, dude? Fuck these lavalier microphones. What? Oh, no. Oh, God. We're good. Is there... There was no music... Oh, maybe I need to turn... Oh, I need to turn this down. Okay, good thing I'm getting all this set before the actual sponsored part. Buh. Fuck it, we're just squ squ switching to this camera. I can swear right now because it's not a sponsored part. Um, why is this not... Is there stuff coming out of the background audio? What is happening? Terrible stream. Terrible stream, terrible streamer. No, it's not going through. What the hell? Uh, is it because only the speakers on the focus right thing are on this? Ruh row. I should have just put this on the focus right the whole time. Damn. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 yo 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 and then let me just test um let me just test my background audio settings focus right analog uh Jess Clevin thank you for the sub they said yo reduce a uh, reduce gain you got it oh wait no this is it's at a good amount it's at a good amount uh, <laughs> I wasn't watching a video for how to stand up for myself, dude. Oh, wait, actually, I can just switch it to this microphone because it doesn't matter right now. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, so I found out um, you have to stream for 30 minutes before the sponsored segment. Um, I found that out a little bit too late because I can't read. Yes, oh Gilligan, you changed the color of your Twitch name. I noticed those things. Did you watch it before emailing your, l watch what? Watch what before emailing my landlord? Steehole, thank you for the sub. They said, I believe in you. You are America's next top chef model I idol. I thought you were about to say icon. Sorry, let me get some cafe music in this. Ah, now that's something special. I've got 30 minutes before the actual sponsored segment. I was thinking we could do the GeoGuessr Daily... GeoGuessr Daily Challenge. Sorry, I almost just threw up my mouth a little bit. Are you down? Crossword is very easy. Okay, how easy are we talking? crossword by yourself i mean dumb dog's probably already done it by now i could give the crossword a shot but uh i don't think it's something i'll be able to do hi koji hi baby what are you doing here koji you want to do the crossword with me in the net for the next 26 minutes or the geoguesser daily challenge do you want to do either of them yo big big j busby thank you for the prime actually i'm just going to turn this banner on the alert stuff right now Oh, the alerts aren't turning on because they haven't turned them on on stream elements yet. Fuck it, man. Then let me turn on my own alert box. There we go. Did Koji respond? Please tell me Koji responded. Did he say something to me? Oh, he hasn't said a damn thing. Sorry, baby boy. I can't just miss your sweet little face, so popped in to say hi. That's something special. That's what a friend would say. Then I'll do this crossword myself. Oh, but I, no, I want to do the, da the daily challenge. Fuck this. GeoGuessr daily challenge. Don't try to get me to do this crossword on my day off. We're getting serious. 
I should probably turn this off so uh, I don't swear while it's on the screen. Gionk14, thanks for the sub. They said, hello? Fresh? What shall we name the baby? Another baby one. Okay. Um, what was I doing? God, I'm like out of it. There we go. Eric Not Estrada, thanks for the five gifted. Let's go. Koji, what you're about to witness is something something grand, something special. Oh, but no, never mind. Yeah, what you're about to witness is something special. Nimbus 6, thank you for the gifted. And No Name Julia, thank you for the sub. They said, go Mets, baby. But chug a bottle of piss for the Mets, baby. Okay. Let's get serious. Now, looking at this, you'd think places like Turkey, places like Peru, places like Bolivia. But that's a trick. This is South Africa. And we're not going to see Spanish. So we're in Peru. Somewhere in Peru. Let me see if I can find... Hey, Lom Tuna, thank you for the sub. They said you did great in Bogey. I'd be your therapist. Aw. Uh, Elo. So then... It's got to be somewhere around Peru. The Master Knot, thank you for the sub. They said, I don't know why I'm still here. Man, it's like I'm... Every day's a repeat, man. I feel like I've seen that thousands of times. Happy 4077, thank you for the sub. They said, my streamer. Wait, where is Elo? Wait, maybe we're in Mexico. Huh. Okay, not a time to sub right now, a cab bot. Thank you for the prime. They said, hi, Steve. Thanks to you, I now add IE to everything. What? I just got a rug delivered and just keep saying it's ruggy time. Oh. Oh, no. I can't tell if this is Mexico or Peru. I mean, where in Mexico do you see this, though? You'd think with these mountains in the background, it would be... Oh, maybe I can rely on the sun for once in my life? Sun? Hard, hard north. Actually, sun's directly above. It could be anywhere, but it seems like the sun's in the north, so we would be in the southern hemisphere. I think it's just, I'm just going to lock in Peru and say it's somewhere, somewhere outside of Lima, maybe? Hey, the master knot. Thank you for the 600 bits. Oh, it is Peru. Let's go. They said, maybe if I get rid of all these bits, I can close my account so I don't have to see this anymore. That's the dream, dude. I'm going to see if they responded. Nope. Play next round. So what are we thinking, South Korea, right away? Are there circles? Little circles. There we go. And then where are we outside of? We're outside of City Hall. But which city? Is there a place called Gang Gangbyeon? Yo, Gibby, 23 cents. Thanks for the sub. They said, wow, it's my seven months, and I, all I get is a shitty cooking stream. Shame. Sorry. And uh, Legendary Lefty, thank you for the prime. Where would we be on, is this, are these the highway numbers? Like the f three, four, five? Oh no. Gang beyond. No, I can't just, oh, oh, wait. No, that's gang noon. Rosin, 404, thanks for the sub. They said four months. Good morning, Steve. Good morning back. Uh, I don't see it yet. Starting to get a little worried. Oh no. Okay, I wouldn't I'm not too worried. I'm a little worried. Uh Hanum Junction. Where the fuck is Hanum, dude? Nam Namson One Tunnel. City Hall. What city? Uh it looks pretty big. Well, where's the, the biggest city in South Korea would be Seoul, right? Yo, Pallet Ass. Thank you for the sub. They said, Hey honey. This bus is gonna give me the biggest clue that I need. There's got to be something. Fuck it, we're guessing Seoul. Oh, but it's totally not Seoul, is it? Somewhere that has a big river. In oh, maybe it is. Maybe that's the river. And maybe we're right on this bridge. Well, we would be on one of these for sure. Go, Steve. Oh, hey! <laughs> that's, that's a pretty reasonable guess. Okay. Obviously somewhere in Europe. 
Maybe Czech Republic? Oh, no, we got Cyrillic. Interesting. It's been giving me a lot of Bulgaria lately. But why? I have no way to determine if a place is Syria. I mean, not Syria. Serbia, Bulgaria, Ukraine, Russia. Besides, besides some cinder blocks for Ukraine or a red car, which works like half the time. Oh, come on, Steve. Where? What is this? <sighs> Wait a sec. A carrot. Okay. No, that's actually super promising, right? Because that would mean that we're in Serbia. If there's a carrot, unless there are carrots in, in Ukraine. I don't think there are, though. I'm not seeing any carrots here. I'm going to guess between Bulgaria and Serbia. Right here. <sighs> I guess Russia has carrots, too. Gal Pow Cow, thanks for the gifted. I thought that was Slavic only. I thought carrots were an inherently Slavic thing. What can you do? Oh, we're in Canada, the UK, Poland, Ireland... Latvia, Lithuania. I can name any country in Europe easily. Hey, Santos, Stan, thanks for the prime. They said, oops. Department of Transport, something Ramsey. Ramsey's such a UK thing. Yo, imagine, imagine we're just right here in this stupid place. Where is it? You know what I'm talking about. You know exactly the place I'm talking about. If only I could find it. Where is the Isle of Man? It's always the Isle of Man. Do you know where it is? Where? Where? Oh, it's literally right here. Watch this. <gasps> Bro, that's a meta guess. Jeez, Patino, thanks for the sub. They said, should have guessed Bhutan. <laughs> no, that's God-level gaming, dude. Oh, wow. My headphone cable got stuck underneath my chair. All right, let's lock this down at least with... Oh, Iceland or Norway? What? You're just going to give me this? For free? No way. I'm thinking this is more Norway than it is... Oh, yeah, now I'm definitely thinking it's more Norway than it is Iceland. But where? Very icy. Yo, Zaklums, thanks for the sub. They said, hope nothing has happened ever. That's the dream, dude. Okay. No, I don't think it's a gold day because I would have to get... Uh, I would have had to have... I can't get gold. Somewhere... On the edge of Norway. Maybe we're... This is a little too small to be Bergen, right? I don't know how big Bergen is, actually. Um, I think most of the people probably live here. Because there's like, there are great trade routes or something. I don't remember the video. But we're definitely not in Oslo. Maybe we're... But it's got to be icy, though. Do we have mountainous terrain around here? No. Oof. This is going to be harder than I thought. Danielle! 2113. Thank you for the sub. They said another month of giving you my money. Much appreciated. This is just somewhere. Oh, maybe we're in Larvik, dude. No, there aren't enough roads. Oh, maybe over here. Screw it. Yeah. Oh, it was Greenland. Oh, wait. Was that Denmark's flag? Oh, no. Oh, was that Denmark's flag? And it said dot DK. Oh, bummer. I was so sure I saw Norway, but that but Denmark is red and white. And then what's Norway's flag? Is it red and blue? That's a bummer. Oh, that's a huge bummer. Let's see. Norway flag. Yeah, red and blue. <sighs> DK has his own country. Yeah, DK also has his own donut place. There's a DK's Donuts right by me. I also figured out why a lot of white things are showing up in my hair. Um, and it's when I put on deodorant. Um... 
I'll do it like this, and I'll hold the cap of the deodorant above my head, and uh, some of that will fall on my head, and it's not dandruff. And it's not dandruff. And I want to make that very clear to you. And we're going to finish the crossword in under two seconds. Am I joking? No, I'm not joking. That's a very serious statement, dude. Okay. Let's get the window capture out. How fast does Dumb Dog finish this? Doesn't matter. I can finish it quicker. Kayla, you know, thanks for the sub. They said, do you ever feel like a plastic bag asking for? And then they didn't say anything after that. That's very sweet. Okay. Baba Ganesh. Easily. One down. Let's lock it in. Wire fence feature. Bolt. Wait. Wire fence feature. Barb. Ma the Meatloaf, thank you for the private. They said thanks for the sub. I think I'll... I think I'll I think I also said pribe. Letters in an urgent request. ASAP. Chance to accompany a firefighter. Ride along. Oh my god, I'm so fucking good. Sheep sound. Boo. Hey, Kai from Texas. Thanks for the sub. They said hello. Okay, we got that corner. Extraterrestrial. Alien. Okay. Heavy... Metal Devil, thank you for the sub. They said, sure, sure, Steve Bomb. We can't see your face, by the way. Well, that's the whole point, man. I look disgusting today. Okay. Five down. 2020 movie about a cartoon canine. Scoob? No. Die used for a bridal tattoo. Glow in the dark? URL ending for a nonprofit. That's an org, dude. Obviously. Jesus and Meru Network for short. HBO, baby. PC brand. Probably Acer. How do they know Acer? 2020. I already tried that. Die something. Celine, whose first and last initials are apt. Dion? Wait a sec. Icoom? No. Let in or let on. A add in? Add in? There's no way that's it. Blemish on a shirt. Stain. Oh, it is it. Let's go see. Nasal noise. Snort? A drain? No. Rowboat propellers. Wait, this should be easy. Three down. Troublemakers? Bad... Hatters? Bad. Hot guy. Nope. Droop. Uh. Dip. Modern driving aid abbreviation. Oh, uh, oh, that's um. No, it's not a VCR. Broadcasts. Show. Maybe. That's probably wrong. Sound heard at a salon. Snip. Oh. So yeah, it's not show. Wait, what have I done? I clicked something terrible. Okay, I'm on expert. We're good. Snip. Modern driving aid. No idea. Broadcast. Nasal noise. You'd think this would be easy. But it didn't. But it didn't. What's this one? Path toward redemption. Well, the clue today is encircled by Prasanna Keshava. Path towards redemption. No. Okay, I can still do these. Ignored the alarm loud kiss. Smooch. Or a smook. Loud kiss. Smack? It could be a smack, because what's 12 down? Prepare to pray, perhaps? Kneel? Okay, so it's a smack, like a smack on the lips. Wouldn't know much about that. Welsh? Welsh? I don't know, health insurance giant? Apple? People who are under 18 minors. No, not minotaurs, dude. Okay, eight down. Ignore the alarm. S stay. Ignore the alarm. Set, no. Use for snooze. S uh, something in. Use for snooze. Nope. Between in Paris? One absorbs things quickly. 
a sponge easily. Hey, Becca. Becca Solomon, 22. Thank you for the prime. Good looking out. Biases. Sides. Ignore the alarm. C. Poop. Nope. Lau Garlands. I don't know. Uh, Kimon Kia, thank you for the prime. They said, doing great. You got this. Eventually. Awesome to see the... Awesome to the Beatles. Rad, because it was... That's what they said back then. Common undergrad degrees. Um... Would a wouldn't be a doctor related thing, would it? Friend in battle. Ally. Nineteen eighty four movie set in the town with a ban on dancing. Uh Rurdy Dancing? Nineteen eighty four movie set in the town with a ban on dancing. Rescape from LA? Re Grease? Pinot Noir, Fancy Car, Armoire, Temple Honoree, no idea. You're telling me it's not re-grease, dude? <laughs> R Rudy dancing, dude. Wait, a ban on dancing? A 1984 movie? Well, first off, I'm not going to watch a movie about dancing. The Big Easy, in brief. The Big Easy? You'd think that would be... I have no idea. Praise in verse. Nope. Sporting sword. Oh, wait, I just had this. A sporting sword? It was an an EP. An E-pen. Praise in verse. No idea. Brazilian soccer great. Uh, Brazilian soccer great. It's not Ronaldo. That dude's from Spain, I think. I actually don't know. Could be from Madrid, even. It's not Neymar. Neymar, Nemo. There's no one named Nemo in the soccer fields. I know that. And it's not Messi. Because doesn't that end with an I? I don't know. Those are the only soccer players I know. It's not Nemo, Messi, or... Or, um... Any of those. Then it's uh, not possible for me to get it. Tiny House Resident. Tiny House Resident. Tiny Horse. Tiny House Resident. No idea. Tiny house. Like an ant? But then what would praise in verse be? No idea. Brazilian soccer great? No idea. The Irish seas. Isle of man? No f fucking way. I got that. Sass? Nope. Fleming who created James Bond? James Fleming? No, it can't be. Ian Fleming? Organization for penguins and sharks. Tough to say. Barry, who's... Oh, wait. Is, would this be, no, it can't be PETA. Barry, whose name is 75% vowels. A Barry? AOPJ! Coming to 500 bits saying, when you can, check the ping in the HelloFresh Discord. Oh, what did I do wrong? Repinging. Oh, there wasn't enough um, space in the tweet. It didn't let me tweet all of it. I couldn't... Uh, Wait, repeating here. We need to get to have HelloFresh picks. If we can take down the... Um, I, I don't know what to do because it doesn't let me tweet all of that. No, no. Do I get rid of... I can't even get rid of... I can't get rid of the picture. I don't know what to do. I hate tweeting. I really do. I have to get rid of the American hero makes fajitas then. That's fine. Okay, so I'm deleting that tweet. Um, the post is that vowels. Repinging here. We need to tweet to have. Uh, let me just let me just tweet it without the American Hero thing, and then without my uh, Twitch link, if that works. Because then then I can post everything with it. <laughs> Dude, and then I'll I'll include the the repinging we need. We need the tweet to have that in it, too. I'll include that in the tweet. Does that work? Does that work? If I just do it without um, the, you know, the other stuff in it. 
or you know what I'm talking about. Sorry, I'm in the middle of a crossword. And this is super important. <laughs> oh, high tech photography gadget. A DSLR? High tech? No, because that's four letters. Does it work? If I just take out the uh, here thing and the Twitch link, there we go. Something shocking. Who knows? Ollie's pal in classic comedy. Ollie's pal. Gem. Wait, in classic comedy. Is that from Caddyshack, dude? What? Gem from a farm. An egg. Tie in a low-scoring game. Oh, it can come after tea or table. Time. Table, it's table time. Trace of color. Okay, let me just tweet this real quick. Um, yeah, uh, it doesn't... Um, it's saying 72 characters uh, I can't do. Here, I'll show you exactly what the problem is. Unfortunately, all the stuff at the end doesn't seem to to go. And I'm not sure what to do about that. Twitter's tough, man. Did they get rid of the uh, like a certain amount of characters that you can put? Delete spaces? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not asking you guys. I'm asking um I'm asking the sponsor about it. No, it's 280. The middle of the message. Yeah, I mean, look, when I do that, check this out, technical issues, boom. That doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. Still minus 71, minus 72, because a space like this counts as a line. No? Call me? Okay. <laughs> hey, what's up, Allie? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course I do. Of course I do. Of course I do. See, now this is what I, I saw before and I deleted this, but apparently this was an important thing. This, um, for some reason it showed up, obviously, guys, obviously, first off, that's embarrassing. Guys, obviously, first off, I'm incredibly embarrassed because of that. But before we all start laughing at me, let's get serious. I wasn't focused on the middle of the message, man. I assumed that when I clicked copy and paste over the things that mattered, it wasn't going to copy the entire stupid fucking Discord message, right? Right? But that's a Discord issue. Dapple17, thank you for the prime. said this is amazing. No, this is a technical help stream right now. Um... So apparently I have to keep this HelloFresh thing in because it links to an ad or, or like hashtag ad. But oh, there's the hashtag ad right there. Okay. You're, you're right. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. And Ali, your time here, your time here has been... Thank you. Thank you. Um, that being said, you know, a simple, a simple text message saying, uh, you know, the middle of the... Um, <laughs> look at the middle of the... Oh, did you say that in chat? Oh, you did. What What did you say in the message? <laughs> and then I didn't. And then I didn't follow up. <laughs> Sometimes instructions. Thank you, Allie. It's been. I'll see ya. Cool, 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 and that's something special, you know. We love our goderators here. Um, and I promise I'm not watching a video how to stand up for yourself without being rude. It showed up in my recommendations and I clicked on it. So what? So what? Why wouldn't you want to know? Right? Why not learn how to be more assertive? No, I didn't do it for my neighbor. I didn't do it in general. It just showed up for me, and I thought it looked interesting. Kos, thanks for the sub. They said, hi, Steve. Thanks for subscribing. 
There's no standing up for yourself against Allie delivering the truth bombs. Oh, God, the secondhand embarrassing, um, embarrassing is unbearable. Nothing, no one's embarrassed, dude. Wait, what is Go Mets, baby? Wait, I'm in this. I'm in this, so why am I watching this again? Oh, no, I can't see my face. I bet you this clip's going to be bullshit, man. I'm going to get rid of my, uh, where's my camera? Right here. I bet you this clip isn't going to be good. And then you make me rewatch it, man. Are the Mets even a cool team? Let's see. Do the Mets cheat? Does everyone cheat in baseball? Why was the Mets manager fired? Um, fired New York Mets uh, general manager Jared Porter was suspended by Major League Baseball through at least the end of 2022 regular season following an investigation that began after a report that he sent... Okay, so this is a sponsored stream, but uh, apparently, fuck the Mets, you know? Maddie Kandra, thank you for the uh, subscription. Six months in advance, are you sure? The Astros cheat, obviously. But, um, yeah, guys, I wouldn't be saying go Mets anymore, so... If they're, if they're up to that, man, if they're up to something... Sorry, guys, looks like I ruined Mets for you. Like, like how, almost in a way, like how you ruin every single person that I ever bring up that's a celebrity, right? That I'm a fan of. You say, oh, Steve, look what Elvis did. Are you fucking kidding me, man? You got to realize that's new information for me. So you bring that on slow, right? The Mets are canceled, starting now. Oh, right. It is sponsored stream time. Oh, I got to bring the camera over and we got to get, we got to get cooking, dude. We got to get cooking. I'm going to put this on this. Oh, wait. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to change my banner alerts on both of these. Change the camera. We're going to the start scene. What did Elvis Dunn did? Uh, some bad stuff. ACAB, thanks for the five bucks. I said Ali gets a bonus for that, right? Um, we'll talk bonuses uh, quarter four, probably. Yo, Kenzie Pinch, thanks for the five bucks as well. They said, hi, Steve. I don't want to work. Maybe I won't. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Okay. Yo, AOPJ, thanks for the 500 bits. They said third time is the charm. Check one more time. Wait, what? Oh, no. I have to retweet it again? Oh, Christ. Dude, this is so embarrassing. Holy shit. I hate tweeting so much. I hate it. Wait. American here. Okay. And you can post your pick. The code in is wrong in the first one. How? Wait, what? So wait, if I copy in this, paste this over, this one's good to go. Okay, I'm just I'm just copying exactly what's there. God, this is so embarrassing, bro. <laughs> Hello, fresh. Stop making me tweet. Stop it. <laughs> Oh, and I need the pick, too. Oh, God. Oh, I hate Twitter. I hate it. I hate being on Twitter. I hate tweeting. I hate all social media. Oh, my God. Okay, I've tweeted it. I've tweeted it, and that's, and that's the last I can do. That's the last thing I can do for it. Oh, my God. What are people going to say? Oh, Steve. Oh, you really messed this one up again. Okay, let's just get cooking. Okay, let's just get cooking. Okay, I'm going to be moving my camera for a sec, so I'll be back in a bit.
what a beautiful day to get cooking. <laughs> Today's going to be a great day to get cooking. You, me, and one big box. You, me, and one, one big box. You mean a big box of HelloFresh. Bing, 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 a big box of HelloFresh. Yo, Gamehog19, thanks for the sub. They said 14 months. Wow, what? The... Don't try to get me, Gamehog. What the heck happened? Anyways, keep being you. I will. I didn't get got, Gilligan. I didn't get got. Almost dead. Almost dead. Don't try to get me like that, Gamehog. It's impossible. I'm in business mode. What was that? <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. I was in the middle of doing something and I completely forgot. Well, you can use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code Steven Suptic. Sorry, Steve Suptic. 14 to get up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. Did you know about that? Did you know about that? There are going to be little HelloFresh things that pop up that Stream Elements is saying. Right there, you can even see one. Now, that's something special. That's something special. Oh, right. I was getting, I was switching to my lob. Now, immediately you're thinking, Steve, this audio sounds so much worse than it did before. What's, the, what's that? What's that about? That's my lavalier microphone. Doesn't sound that doesn't sound that bad, does it? Doesn't sound that bad, does it? So much worse. Uh, this audio is fresh, says Mike. This mic doesn't sound like a lava lamp, dude. All right. Mm, let's get cooking. How about it? This is like bad mic. Stop talking in my ear. The audio is very crunchy, I like. It's the best we're gonna get, guys. Oh, actually, no, it's not. I can make it better. Is it better now? Does the audio sound better? Oh, does it sound now? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, doesn't it sound good? Yeah, doesn't it sound? Oh yeah, so much better. What is for dinner, Koji asks? Oh, Koji, shut up. Let's see. Oh wait, hold on. I have to go. I have to put these back. I have to put all the stuff in the fridge back in this box and then um, make it seem like I'm opening it for the first time. But since they deliver these beforehand, because they want you to be prepared, I'm just gonna leave it in the box like a psycho. I'm sorry, Koji. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to lash out at you. Sorry, I'm angry about tweeting, dude. Oh no. I didn't mean to lash out at you. Sorry, I'm angry about tweeting. Koji, I'm. Oh no. Koji, I'm sorry about lashing out at you. Koji, I'm. Koji, I'm. Koji, I'm sorry. It really wasn't my intention, Koji, to lash out at you during that. Koji, I'm so sorry to lash out at you. I really didn't mean to. Koji, I'm so sorry to lash out at you. Will you forgive me, Koji? Will you forgive me, Koji? The box isn't dirty, I, it's just smashed a little bit, okay? Because I moved it around. Dirty, I just smashed a little bit, okay? Because I moved it around. The box isn't dirty. Thank you, though. The box isn't dirty. Thank you, though. I can't turn this off. This profile image can take you to the channel home. I know how Twitch works. I don't need little updates like that, man. And now you've got me angry when I can accidentally wake up my neighbor. Okay, we're serious, we're looking good. Oh wait, let's just turn this off and then turn off and put mute on. And then open up chat. It's a nice echo. Yeah, it's because the place is so big, basically. I know how Twitch works, dude. Invite your neighbor for dinner. You know, in a perfect world, I was thinking about this earlier. Imagine. She gets upset at me being loud, doing cooking like how, how any human would. 
Imagine that. She comes up to my door. She, she knocks on it, berates me. I say, you want to come in and cook? And she says, yes. Imagine something like that happening. Now, that's, that's peak humanity. <laughs> yeah, one bite? Mm, come in with a bite? Oh. And then we share like a special moment cooking together on stream. She doesn't fully understand exactly what's going on. She doesn't understand that there are eyes on her while she's watching. So it's just a normal, it's just a normal cooking sesh between her and her bro. You have dreams, but sometimes they just don't work out. So when you get HelloFresh, it's gonna, they're going to give you normally three, three recipes that you've already chosen. Now today we're going to be cooking none of these. But this was a sweet corn and green pepper chowder, which sounds great. And one pan smashed black bean tacos, which also sounds real good. But uh, unfortunately, those are not long-term recipes. Now this is... This is turkey fajita bowls, which is a 40-minute recipe because I need to eat up this time. That was a pun. Then you also get the little meats. I assume the ground turkey is going to go into the fajitas. And then turkey fajita bowls. They give you the little recipes. Let me put this back in here. I assume it's the turkey meat I have to do with this. Yep, 10 ounces. How many ounces are in each of these? Oh, I got two turkey recipes? What's my other turkey recipe? Wait, hold on, quick math, hold on, we're freaking out about math. Wait, but this recipe calls for 10, oh, 20 ounces of turkey. Sorry, I got caught up on something. And then once you're done with the box, you can keep it. Oh, what is this letter? I forgot to open this. Uh-oh, I finally started getting mail here from my previous place. Yo, someone just subbed. K Musa too, thanks for the five gifted. No one wants to keep a dirty box. It's not a dirty box, guys. Hold on, I have to open up this mail, otherwise I'll never do it. Please don't be a bill, please don't be a bill. Please be something good, please be something good. It's never anything good. What will the world be like after its ruler is removed? The Bible answers that question at Psalm 37.10. Why am I getting this, man? Who's doing this to me? What kind of sick joke? Dear neighbor, as our worldwide congregations are observing the current COVID-19 lockdown, we are attempting to reach and encourage our local neighbors by mail. Perhaps you may be concern, concerned that the world scene seems to be unraveling at an alarming rate. Pandemic, systemic, well, I don't want to say a lot of this stuff during a sponsored stream. In view of these challenges, Jehovah's Witnesses have found that the Bible offers permanent relief. And so does ointment. you got to be kidding me, man. These are the letters I get. Unbelievable. What can you do? What can you do? Eh, be gone. It almost went under my door. Okay. We're getting serious now. In fact, we're so serious. Uh, before we get started, I do want to say HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. Dude, I forgot about how many recipes... Simply them reaching out to me and saying, you have to pick three recipes for this week there were so many good ones, dude. I wish I could go through the entire list, but if one of the recipes includes smoked paprika, I'm gonna say that's gonna be a go for me. That's a go, you see smoked paprika? That's a go for Steve. Also, HelloFresh makes living healthy easier with many um, of low-cal, carb-smart, vegetarian, and pescatarian options every week. Plus, every recipe is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. That was the thing that really helped me when I was, um, before this, uh, when I was actually trying to stay in shape, is they would tell you the amount of calories on each recipe, which was super helpful. You love the industrial AC setup in your apartment? My neighbor doesn't, because they can hear everything clearly. Okay. Let's, ooh! Let's 
get serious. Let's put all these, obviously the vegetables go on the cooking board first because you're gonna get cooking. They give me little blue corn tortilla chips, that's cute. You gotta treat all of these ingredients with respect. Okay. Here we go. And a little jalapeno fell. I've never made a mistake with a knife before. And today's not gonna be the day I do. I'm extremely careful. And I have perfectly normal hands. A lot of people think I have alien or skeletal fingers, but if you take a look at it, they're not so bad, okay? So when you make fun of me for having long skeletal fingers, just know that hurts and it's not real. They're normal fingers. All of my friends literally say they're normal fingers. Why do you not put up the other half of the table? Forgot it existed. Oh, is there one in the middle too? Yes. That's really helpful. Thank you. My tone is gonna to be a little upset with you for a little bit because of the interaction we just had, but I want you to know deep down that is, that is something special you've done for me, is reminding me of that. Not skeletal fingers, we think you have alien skeleton fingers. I'm not from another planet. A sweatshirt for the ages, this kitchen is so nice. Koji slacking pre, is Koji still in here? Is my big boy still in here? I don't even see him. I don't even see that boy. Oh, dude just got back seated in his own kitchen. <laughs> no, I didn't. I remembered it was there. I just forgot briefly. Let me zoom in on this. Oh yeah, that's real nice. Oh, look at that image. And look at this quality. I hear someone moving. Hold, <gasps> hold. We're clear. It's not someone coming to tell me to keep it down. We're fine. Only slightly tilted. Wait, let me see the image. Oh, kind of a nightmare though. This looks like a nightmare. You're exactly right, Gilligan. We're gonna straighten this out. There we go, now it's perfect. Now it's like we're living in the real world and we're not at an angle, right? Oh yeah. Oh, that's special and that's symmetrical. Everything's looking good. We're obeying the rule of thirds during a cooking stream for some reason. Steve, you are so short. These ceilings are 20 feet tall. There's a crackle every time you move. It's probably this chain. Oh, dude, my chain's stuck on the mic. That's easily why. A Dutch angle stream. No, dude, we're doing a worm's eye view stream for the uh, angle for this. Um, there's one part of this recipe that's really gonna screw me over and it's the rice because normally I have a rice cooker but I left that with, just touched the onion and then just touched my eye. And we're good. And that's a no brainer. And we move on from that like it's nothing, boom. What was I doing? Getting butter out because the butter is definitely a part of this recipe. Knife. Did you see that? <laughs> that was cool though. Okay, let's get serious. I should check out the recipe first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash and dry produce. Now, obviously they recommend that you wash all produce because of bugs. I'm gonna skip that this time. I'm gonna skip washing the produce and I'm just gonna go straight to dicing the tomato. Steve, quiet it down. I'm being super quiet, man. Okay, let's see. There are no bugs in HelloFresh produce. No, I agree that. I'm saying in general, you know, like not bugs physically, but you wanna wash produce because of the dangers of them being unwashed already. I don't know, man. Some type of maybe bacteria or something on all produce, not Hello Fresh. All produce. 
Remember that. Washing my bug. Just wash them. Speak up. I can't hear you. Clean your food. Okay. If that's what you guys want, man. Can't wash the onion, though. This is because of you guys. Now that's 20, 30 seconds. We're never going to get back because you wanted to do something to be safe. Hey, you know what's boring? Safety. You know what you're doing when you're not washing produce? Living on the edge like a human being should. Okay. But you guys are cool, man. You want to wash produce. That's cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. You know what's cool? Bugs. Agreed, dude. There are a lot of cool bugs. There are bugs that look like leaves. There are bugs that look like sticks. Why don't you use soap? I'm not an anti-washer. The box was on the cutting board. Please rinse it at least. Why did I have to read that suggestion out loud? What's the thought process there? The box was on the cutting board. I'm not going to wash the box or the cutting board. I'm, I'm not going to wash the cutting board, dude. At a certain point, you just got to be a dirty lad. Man, if you saw the rest of this place, you wouldn't, you would understand. I've, I've disrespect, I've disrespected this establishment. Steve looks like the stick bug from a bug, bug's life band. Can we get that guy banned? Steve only washes his cutting board once a month. Ban them too. You don't know where the box has been, man. Please wash the cutting band. Sit Band. Sit tight. Top top. What crap? Sa 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 sa. Oh. There's a lime. I'm not uncoordinated, dude. <laughs> I'm not gonna stab myself. <laughs> Please be careful. There is so much thick care involved when I do that kind of shit, man. You have no idea. Did you hear the scrape of that? That was cool. <laughs> that was really cool. None of this is cool. Uh, let's see, diced tomato. Can do, will do, done. <laughs> Bro, if an intruder can thick. If an intruder came in here, impossible. It's impossible. Diced tomato. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Oh, let's bring it close. Let's bring it a little closer so you can see my process. So you can see my pro... <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Get serious. Get serious. Perfect. Don't even need to look at it. Okay, let me just see if this is seeing what I want it to. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Alien hands close up. There's literally nothing wrong with my fingers and stop talking about them, please. I'm begging you, okay? Now can we please rock on? Cool, I'm just gonna take this part out real quick. There's gotta be a better way to cut a tomato where it doesn't get all the juice everywhere. But I think I just need a sharper knife. Something that really is a game changer. And then anyone that tries to interrupt me, anyone that tries to get in my way. That's right, that's right. Hello fresh. Okay. Now I'm not exactly dicing them, but I don't exactly follow the rules either. Steve, please stop. <laughs> do you, what do you mean, stop cooking, dude? That's the whole point of the stream. This is the least sharp knife that ever existed. The sound effects are truly... Am I breathing really hard when I'm doing this? I can't hear myself. Am I, am I going... Yes, it's really loud. No, no, not at all. The knife sounds, oh, I just poked myself. This guy is the worst man. Oh, my little tomato fell. Mm. 10 minute roll. Okay. 
Let's get these tomatoes over here. Turkey fajita bowls sound so good right now. Today's the start of me eating healthy anyway. Because I can't keep doing what I've been doing if I want to live a healthy life. Ooh, almost done with tomatoes, which is easily my least favorite type of produce to cut because they're just so wet. Squish. Oh, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay, get serious. Good enough. Oh, now the cutting board's all wet, man. Tomatoes are just okay. To be honest, if a tomato's not being used for a sauce or some variation of a sauce, it's not that good. Tomatoes by themselves, they're just kind of, eh, you know? Tomatoes are the worst vegetables to cut. Hey, did they ever decide if a tomato was a fruit or a vegetable? Did they ever figure that out? When I was a kid, all they would, that was like the big information where people would say, oh yeah, did you know tomatoes are a fruit? And everyone would say, shut up. Doesn't change a thing. It's a fruit. Botanically, it's a fruit. But meteorologically, what is it? In queso dip? Tomatoes in queso dip. Yeah, that sounds like a fine addition. Every vegetable is a fruit. I'm basically a vegetable at this point, man. I don't do anything. Okay. Uh, what's next on the agenda? Diced tomato, half peel and thinly slice onion. This has never been a problem for me. No, Steve, throw your trash. No. Steve, you need to talk through something. That's what I'm doing right now, man. Who dares subscribe? Who just subscribed? Someone, someone just gave bits or something. Oh, Allie comes in with 500 bits saying, sorry if this is late, but it's actually, but actually in nature, there's no such thing as a veggie. It's just a culinary term for like savory fruit. There's only roots and fruit and tubers, I think. Tubers? Yo, Kakazas, thank you for the prime. They said during her last 24 hour stream, Adriana Chechik mentioned that she'd like to play Among Us with you. I don't really play Among Us anymore, man. And I think that's for the best. A certain sheep won, thank you for the prime. Okay, let's get serious. Who dare call me during this hour? Uh, what was it, half peel and thinly slice onion? Half? So that's a no-brainer. We have it. Peel. Right, I was already peeling it before I halved it. Very good, Steve. That's not how this works. Um, I need a little trash. I'll use the HelloFresh box. No, that's disrespectful. But it, you know, it's getting your use out of it, so in a way, I think that's perfectly fine. Yo, GVXO, thank you for the sub. They said, making you read this to fuel our parasocial relationship. Isn't it right beside you? Yeah, but it's cranked to the max, man. I should probably have Discord open too. Discord, just in case I do anything else wrong. All right, so far so good. Clean your PC. I saw, I can't remember who it was, someone tweeted about cable management last night. It might have been Aria, or maybe she responded to it. And I hope when they figure out how to do cable management then from someone, then I can find that exact same person because my cable management is negligible and honestly, cable management, if you let it go, it just gets depressing, dude. Could use the HelloFresh bag on the counter as a small trash. I'm not looking for trash suggestions. Oh, it was Janet? It was Janet that tweeted about cable management? Oh, then, then I think it was Aria that responded to her or something. Yeah, I need to hit up Janet and see if she finds anybody. Yo, Jorzani, thanks for the sub and the soup. Thank you for the prime. Dude, I'm a little worried about um, cooking the rice today because that is the thing that I'm worst at. And I just, for some reason, assumed that I'd have my little rice cooker. Just been too lazy to get it. Half peel and thinly slice onions easily. So just a little thin slice. Uh, let's do it like this. No, 
You want to do it lengthwise, I think. I cook like a professional. Cook like a professional, I'm a professional. This is how a professional cooks. You leave just a little bit of finger here and it's a no-brainer. Oh, I watched Gordon Ramsay's master class, but it was just a bunch of swears. Didn't really get a lot of information from it. Okay, we got the onion. Yo, Allie, thanks for the 500 bits. They said, Gilligan says to turn off your notifs and turn on HelloFresh's. Oh, I forgot about that again. Wait, no, I didn't. Oh yeah, the alert box for me is still on. Mo bad. Good call. There's always something, always a new problem that we get to solve together. Okay. Yo, yeah, what's the sharpest kitchen knife I could possibly get? Something, something incredibly dangerous. Would it be a Damascus steel knife? Are those the really good ones? You know what I'm talking about? Just sharpen your knife? No, it's not good enough. You can just tell. Well, what's this game? We're playing Onion Simulator, dude. This is a dangerous way to cut, but fuck. I mean, screw it. <laughs> it's who I am, man. It's who I am. A knife is only as what? A knife is only as good as how sharp you keep it. It really doesn't matter. All knives will get dull and all knives can be sharp by a whetstone and then it doesn't matter. Well, I've seen people use a whetstone before and that looks real boring. Oh, but that's the bad part about having a knife and then keeping it sharp is how boring it is to keep it sharp. How long does that take? I feel like that would take forever. But you know what doesn't take forever? HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. It's probably gonna look like I'm taking a lot of time on these meals, which I am. Um, I'm specifically picking out the longest meals to cook. Normally they only take like 20, 30 minutes, but I'm picking out the 40 minuteers. So it takes a lot less time than what you're seeing today, especially with how much I'm screwing around too. With that Jehovah's Witnesses stuff too. Oh, good enough. Okay, we got the onions. Everything looks perfect. I gotta get the top of this off. Good for me. All right, after the onions, we're gonna mince a few slices until you have two tablespoons. Oh, so I need to get these. This is probably two tablespoons. And I just mince this bad boy. Oh God, I can feel myself crying already. Oh, this is a nightmare. Minced and good enough. Good enough. All right, so, honestly, I've been doing too much research on knives. Yoshikane, Yoshikane is the brand. Oh, those are probably like $400 knives. Oh, Elam. Oh. Oh, Elam. Oh, thank you. Oh, Elam. Seriously, thank you. Oh, welcome, Elam viewers. I hope your stream was good today, bud. God, I needed this, Elam. God, thank you. That's something special. Well, Elam, I hope you stick around for a little bit. Maybe get some tricks of the trade. Learn how to cook yourself. After the onion, zest and quarter lime. Damn it. Okay. Don't think I got a zester. Actually, yes, I did. Zest and quarter lime. It's not in there. It would be here. Oh, I got this thing. This will be. Okay, so we zest this a little bit. And then that's good enough. Not quite the zester I should have got. Not quite at all. That's unfortunate. Did Ellen get timed out? 
unlucky man. I was really, really looking forward to you being here. Okay, quarter the lines. Well, you're dang right, it's a HelloFresh stream. Oh yeah, we quarter that bad boy. Dude, I'm such a good chef, it's not even, it's not even a joke. Mince jalapeno removing ribs and seeds for less heat. Jalapeno ribbed, interesting. Wait, oh, but I want it spicy. There we go. Jalapeno ribbed for my pleasure, baby. Oh, there's something in here. Hashtag ad. Let's see. What was it again? What am I supposed to do with this jalapeno? Have, core, and thinly slice. Have, core, thinly slice. Boom. I don't know if I necessarily want to core it. I kind of want the spice. I'm just going to get rid of the, a little bit of the core. Just a wee bit. That'll do. That'll do indeed, yeah? It is perfect, yeah? You've definitely done a good job of it. All right, we've got a couple few seeds, not as many as I wanted. Bro, HelloFresh, put some habaneros in your meal. A little dangerous, but do it for me. Have core, thinly sliced green pepper into strips. Oh, wait. Yeah, mince jalapeno. Oh, whoops. Can do, will do, done. God, I'm so good at cutting. This is so simple. A baby could do this, and a baby should. Okay. A baby could make a HelloFresh meal. And they do all the time. It's just so easy, but it makes you feel like you really learned something. Because you do. I've learned so much about cooking from these things. I've learned so much about green onions. Too much about green onions, actually. Um, have corn thinly sliced green pepper into strips. Okay, we're gonna ask a question and it's gonna come off ignorant, uh, because it is. So the instructions obviously said, thinly sliced green pepper into strips. Are these both the green pepper? Because this one, if we're looking at it, it's only kind of green. They're Anaheim, so these are both the green pepper. Okay. And, and we're over that information just like that. I wouldn't linger on it. Peppers are all the same. They just change color on ripeness. Did you, did you read further and find out? Can't read. I look like Dwit from The Office. Normad, you're gonna have to rework that one. Jack Harlow, HelloFresh streams, dude. Green to yellow to red. What? Oh, that's information that I've never had before. Thank you for that. Wait, what am I supposed to do with these? Half core and thinly sliced green peppers, okay. Oh, God. Here we go. Have core thinly slice. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. Have core. Uh-oh, my pee-pee itches. That's not good. Not when I've touched a bunch of jalapenos. Why does it choose now? Why, why would it choose now, you know? Of all the times, right after I touch a jalapeno, man. Let's see. Yuck, yuck. Yeah. I'm disgusted by it, too. Have core and thinly sliced green pepper. Okay. I can do that easily. Thinly slice. Ugh. Hey, if I miss a sub today, definitely don't be more inclined to sub. I would say today, hedge your bets. There's a chance I won't read it because of how busy you can see that I am. Save it for another day. Save it for a rainy day. Hey, save it for Goderator Day. They'll love it if you sub only on Goderator Day. Let me get rid of this. There we go. I'm not a rib guy, dude. Okay. I can't believe I made three tweets today. That's so bad. <laughs> I think that's actually, though, the last tweet I'll ever have to do. And then after this, I'll never have to tweet again. 
and then I'm finally off the platform forever. And then what was this one? Thinly sliced, it's the same thing. So I have it, oh, I should have got a bigger cutting board, dude. No, okay, have this bad boy. Turn it over to the rough side to slice it, it's easier. Turn it over to the rough side to slice it. The rough side of the cutting board or the rough side of the pepper? You mean like this side? That makes a lot of sense actually. Let's see how it plays. Is this not how I had it before? If not, that's embarrassing because this is the way it should be every time. This is pretty easy to cut anyway though, no matter the side. Okay, let's bring this bad boy over there. And drop another one down, cut the rest of this. You go, you go forever. Okay. I mean, look at how easy this is, man. Ugh. No brainer. No brainer, literally. I'm so good. And then we put these over with the rest of the green onions. And now we make a little bit of time to rearrange our balls. Give me not but two seconds. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wash it. If you can still hear me, that's embarrassing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the bathroom and we're gonna wash our hands. And with the sound of this water going, we're going to rearrange our balls. Thank you. There's something that had to be done. Okay. In a small pot, combine rice, three-fourths cup water. Oh, this is where it gets dangerous. Okay. I don't have measuring cups. I forgot to get measuring cups. Oh, no. I just have one big tablespoon. Oh, no. Oh no, I have one giant tablespoon. Okay, how many tablespoons are in three-fourths cup of water, you know? Let's do a little bit of quick math. Let's you guys do a quick bit of math. How many tablespoons are in three-fourths cup of water? 12? Looks like I'm getting a lot of 12, so let's go. No, that doesn't work like that. It has to be slower. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is the most boring thing. I could, the most boring way I could have possibly done this. Bro, come on, just chill with it. Come on, just a little bit, there we go. Okay, one. Oh, well there's two. This is so sad. <laughs> I forgot what, I forgot what number I'm at. It was at four, it doesn't matter. Five. Six. Oh my God, dude. How did I set myself up for this? Okay, we're on eight. Eight, probably nine even, I don't know. Nine. 10. 11. And then finally, last but not least, 12. That's so sad. Is this the new Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, dude? Counting is pretty hard. That was 13. I got distracted, man. Hi, Steve. Can you please move your chain away from the mic? I'm going to put it underneath. Seems to be causing one. Shouldn't have touched my balls, man. Steve doing what we call a pro cooker move. Those veggies do be looking real crispy fresh, though, to be honest. What's that? You want me to talk about how fresh these ingredients mints are? Um... HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit. So you know who, you know you'll get something delicious. And you know who gives them those five-star ratings? Steve does. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I did make a huge mistake touching my balls. And we are going to take a, a, just a break to kind of do what we can to stop the, stop the burning. This isn't for the bit, I promise you. Dear God, How's, I didn't even think this was a possibility. Dude, that is intense. That's intense pain. <sighs> I'm 
Okay. Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, what is it, a pinch of salt? Yep, big pinch of salt. Good enough. Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we got salt. It looks like I put in a lot, but I promise it wasn't. Um, bring to a boil, then cover and reduce. Okay, so it's just... This doesn't seem like it's going to be enough water. No, but it is because that's the amount it would take for the rice cooker, too. Okay. Front. High. Come on now. There you are. Was it medium, medium high? Bring to a boil, then cover and reduce to a low simmer. Oh, it doesn't give the temperature, but I assume it's, if you're going to boil it, it's just the hottest it could be. Because what does it matter? It's just water. And then in the meantime, what are we going to do? Keep covered off heat into, oh, I got to keep it covered. Right, right, right. Um, oh, wait, in a small pot. Oh, I'm supposed to combine it before I even boil it. That's probably something I should do. It's all about reading, guys. All about reading. It was three-fourths cup, yeah. Make sure you wash your rice. I promise this isn't a bit... No, I know. I know you're supposed to, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to today. Wait, what is your reason for doing it, though? Like, Oh, you just said, like, dead-ass wash your rice. I'm in total agreement, man. It's uh, wild how much gunk comes off of the rice. For the sake of time, rice is coated in arsenic. Bro, it's being boiled, though. What? Wait, hold on. Goose Alana's, thank you for the sub. They said, I just woke up. Glad this is what I get to watch. It's fine. It's being boiled, dude. The only difference is um, some of the starch and, and stuff comes off. Boiled in arsenic water. Arsenic doesn't get destroyed by boiling. Fine. Fine. How is he going to dry it once washed? With easy towels, man. Easily with towels. Steve the chemist, you do what you want. You need to wash it off. Dude, I think these are, these are just old tales. Kess, 66, 10, thanks for the sub. They said, hey Steve, it's been seven months and I just wanted to say, and then they didn't finish their sentence with a damn thing. You don't have to dry it. Steve, you're putting it in the water. And that's very fair, Gilligan. Very fair indeed. Very fair. I mean, what's so bad about arsenic anyway? Let's really think about that one. Ooh, jasmine rice. That's the best rice. What's the worst thing about arsenic? Can we get serious? Uh, we're making fajitas, baby. The chef, the chief reason, the chef reason, the chief reason to rinse is to remove starch from rice grains, which can make them gummy as they cook. Yeah, there we go. Dude, dude no one's talking about arsenic, man. Not a single person. You wash rice because it tastes better when, it's, when you wash all the, all the powdery bits off. Arsenic, come on, man. I can't get this open. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, if you want to know how to wash rice, this is all you have to do. You're supposed to do it in a bigger, in a bigger bowl, but screw it, Mike. This is just for appearances. This is just as a lesson. You would never catch me doing this in real life. Because a uh, rice in an instant cooker, or whatever it is, in a rice cooker, it's all fuck, it's perfect. All right, and there's a second, almost swear, not quite though.
And that's the best we're going to get. That's something special. Good enough. Okay. My balls are on fire. All the rice is gone. <laughs> yeah, man, it's fine. Arby's is fine. Let me just scroll all the way down. Okay, we got the talking points and everything. I don't have any milk, unfortunately. Don't listen to us for advice and just follow the instructions and have fun, says Reach Cave. I'm always having fun. Um, so I need to put this on for 15 to 18 minutes. Bug. Okay, 15 to 18 minutes. Cooking time. Let's put it on 16. Nope, not an hour and 60 minutes. Well, we'll keep count. Cooking time on two hours. Uh, so while that's cooking, while rice cooks in a small bowl, combine tomato, minced onion, and a squeeze of lime juice. Okay. No. Wait, what am I doing? 14. There we go. Works for me. While rice cooks in a small bowl, combine tomato, minced onion, squeeze of lime juice. Tomato. This is a no-brainer. Is it all the tomato? Really? Tomato, minced onion. I need a spatula, dude. Perfect. Minced onion. Okay. All of this tomato is going to go in here. Oh my God, dude. Tomato is so annoying. Come on. No, don't spread over the onions. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Use that brain. Use whatever you have up there to get these tomatoes into this bowl. Come on. There's gotta be something left. Some type of synapse that can get this going. Just a spark, all we need is a spark. Something that can help me figure out a better way to get these tomatoes into this bowl. But alas, there is nothing, dude, and I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. This is psychotic. Okay. Here we go. Scoop off top edge of board. Yeah, hindsight, you know, 2020. Um, tomato, minced onion, and squeeze of lime juice. Okay. And we're set. And we're set. That's better. Squeeze of lime juice. Don't mind if I do. Just a spritz. Oh, no. Mm, am I supposed to stir it? So in a small pot combined, and then a big pinch of bring to a boil, cover and reduce low simmer. Mm. Okay, thank God. Cook until rice is tender. Okay, we're good. And then I guess I keep this over it too. And we're set. Oh yeah, it's a cooking stream today, baby. Um, looks like I don't have to do much for a little while, at least until the rice boils. Oh, no, 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 I, I'm very wrong. In a separate small bowl, wait, I have to combine these. Fork. Oh, that's nice. A little pico de gallo. Oh, I wonder what my parents are doing right now. My mom's probably playing Sudoku. And my dad's probably watching Chuck Norris in some form. Um, oh wait, and as much of the jalapeno as you'd like. The whole thing. Where, which one's that? This is the jalapeno. The whole thing, the entire thing, please. As spicy as it can be. That's the dream. Wait, there's, there's, no, don't have a problem with Sudoku. What is he cooking? I'm cooking, just as a reminder, I'm cooking the turkey fajita bowls. Wash your hands again, good call. Good call. Remember guys, if you're content creators out there, 
don't do sponsored bits for just products. It's one of the biggest problems people get taken advantage of. Man, I'm looking out for you guys. I mean, one of the, one of the biggest mistakes I ever made um, was crashing my car. Heat a drizzle of oil, wait, in a separate small bowl, combine sour cream, sour cream, a squeeze of lime juice, more lime juice, okay. Sour cream, where's this, is it, it's all the sour cream, I believe, right? Every little bit of it, in a separate small bowl, combine sour cream, a squeeze of lime juice, and a pinch of chili powder, okay. That's a no-brainer, I'm just gonna bring this over here. So we've already got the lime juice in it, we just put all the siwa cream, this is sour cream, right, yes. I didn't like sour cream before HelloFresh, just another little thing, just another little factoid about my life. I would never go out of my way to eat sour cream. And then HelloFresh told me I could use sour cream to stick little bits of, of panko breadcrumbs and smoked paprika. Smoked paprika. Come on, man. What am I doing? No, not a smoked prenup, dude. I just couldn't get the sour cream out, man. Ugh, yuck. This is so much sour cream. Wait, does it really want me to use all of this in a separate combined sour cream? Yeah, it wants me to use all of the sour cream. But there's so much. Oh. Jesus. Why is it so much sour cream? I wonder what this is even for. I mean, it just goes with the pico de gallo, I guess. Okay, we need another fork. That's why I know my drawers. Okay. And we have it with the lime juice, probably a little bit more lime juice. There we go, that's something special. And then with the chili powder, right, right, right. Which is right here. And this is not the only one. Yes. Yes, chili powder, chili powder. Okay, we're good. Yeah, just and just a pinch of chili powder. You'll use the rest later. And then I season with salt and pepper. Cool. Another no-brainer. And somewhere along here is a thing that you can open the salad without using your teeth. I can't find it. Teeth it is. Just a pinch. Not much, just a pinch. Because you're going to use the rest later. Mmm. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm making turkey fajita bowls. This has to be a recipe for four. Yeah, let me check. I, dude, I think this is for two. Two person, yeah. Well, it can be for two or four. But this does feel like a, a fourzy. Okay, got this, now what do I need? Uh, it's gotta go in with salt and pepper, right, right, right. Easy. Oh, here we go. So I'm excited this is turkey too, because then I'm gonna be tired after this. Or, or was, that, was that not confirmed? That turkey makes you tired? Is that just a myth? Or is that, is, is that a reality that we're living in? Debunked? Thank you, Reach Cave, because that's, that's important to me. Do you not have a scissor? Well, yes, I do have a scissor, but I didn't wash them because I used them on pubes. Um, stir in water one teaspoon at a time until it reaches drizzle capacity. Yeah. Yeah, that's drizzly. That's something special. That's something special. Um, heat a drizzle of oil in a large pan over medium high heat. Got it. Drizzle of oil in a medium pan over, or in a pan over medium high heat. No brainer. But then what do I need to do after I drizzle? Doesn't matter yet. Front. Yo, what is power boil? 
What settings do I have on this? What? Power boil? Precise simmer? Setting intended oh, for use with larger pots. What does that look like? Oh yeah, because that's just normal. And then, oh, this place is fancy. What was the temperature I had to put this on? Heat a drizzle boil over medium high heat. Power boil, dude, what? I had a power boil when I was a kid. What are the specs on your stove? I think it has a 2080. Um, drizzle oil, it's probably just vegetable oil. Just a drizzle of oil, nothing too, nothing too crazy. Just a drizzle, just a drop. Yeah, that's something good. Okay. Add green pepper and sliced onion. I'll do that in a sec. Good enough? You love cooking on gas stove. I'm just Dona Wall and Gilligan so much. Would you ever consider pointing the camera up just slightly? Um, yeah, maybe someday. It's gonna be kind of tough too, though. Why has my head been cut out for this entire time? Just a, it's just another embarrassing thing I've done, man. Just another embarrassing thing. Yeah, I can, I can, I can take suggestions for this. Sure, sure, no problem. How's that? Back to normal? How's that looking? Does that fit my full head? Oh, it even still cuts out my, and man, do I have a tiny head, don't I? Let's look at the specs on this. Okay, so it looks like the body is about, torso goes from here to here, head is about like this, and then legs go, legs start right, right here. The legs, my legs start right here, and then go down, you know, obviously where legs go. So torso starts at about right, right here, underneath my left breast, and then it's torso to head. Yeah, just like a normal person's body. Oh wait, this, this seems important. Add green pepper and sliced onion. Okay, unfortunately this green pepper has a lot of sour cream over it. You know, nothing smells better than cooking onion and garlic on a stove. I wish there was garlic in this recipe. No, I don't, because why would you put garlic with this? No, I need this. I'm surprised it's not asking for salt and pepper. It is. Wait, in a separate, no, that's not it. Oh, after seven to nine minutes, then season with salt and pepper. Okay, so we got a little bit of time. We got seven or nine minutes until that's ready, until the rice is done three. Oh yeah, take a quick listen at this. Uh, that's something real nice, huh? Just onions cooking on a stove. <laughs> Why does your chest get smaller? What are you talking about? Like, cause legs go up to about here and then it's chest and then a head. Is that what you're talking about? Are you sharding? No, dude, I'm not sharding, dude. Don't look at the camera, please. Is it weirder if I look beside the camera? Like what if I'm talking to you like this? Is this really what you want? To me, this feels disrespectful. Is it weirder to look into the camera? It's all weird, that's weirder, don't talk to me. Oh God, no, I don't like eye contact. Yes, good, it seems weird, this is weird. What's the difference, where are you looking? Well, I was looking to the side of the camera beforehand and then I was looking directly at the camera. Looking at the camera is great. Well, that's what that was told is eye contact is breaking the fourth wall. We can't see you through your hair anyway. Yeah, there we go, doesn't make a difference. Look me in the eyes. You people are so needy and aggressive. Oh, that's just the final minute. Hmm. <laughs> Seven to nine minutes, I season that with uh, salt and pepper. So I've got five minutes on that. What am I supposed to do after this? Then once I'm done cooking on that, I need to take all the little, I'm gonna need plates, aren't I? I have to take all of those vegetables off and then put them on this. Ooh, it's burning.
You do need plates for food, I believe. Yes, I was just checking where I would put the little things after I'm done cooking them. Caramelizing, not burning. Thank you, Matt, for matt explaining to me. Thank you. What brand water jug is that? I'm not supposed to talk about other brands. You're making a bowl, right? I ordered after last stream and received my first box today. We are having chicken sausage and spinach ricotta ravioli for dinner. Toots la mom, you always got my back. That's something special. Um, still didn't get an oven gloving. Well, let's just see how done this is. Oh, actually that's done. What? I cooked rice without, an, without a rice cooker for the first time for real. Timer clock, put this on five minutes, and then that's when the vegetables will be done. Oh, and this isn't metal either. Oh, this is a nice pan. And then where am I gonna put this? Keep covered off heat until ready to serve, right. I'm surprised, is it not asking me to put butter in that? Huh. Wait, fluff rice with fork, stir in lime zest, and one tablespoon butter. Okay, so it is asking for butter, I knew it. Jasmine rice always calls for butter. And that's a little tip that you're gonna pick up when you start doing HelloFresh all the time. Jasmine rice always calls for butter, and how many tablespoons? Just one. Just one tablespoon, that'll do. I'm surprised the recipe set at that light. Butter makes everything better, agreed. Oh. Okay, and it also asked for a little bit of um, lime zest, but I'm gonna keep the lime out of it actually because I put so much lime on everything else that it doesn't seem appropriate. I'd rather separate the flavors, guys, and that's how a chef thinks. A lot of people will just follow this recipe and sure, it'll taste great. It'll be exactly like what you're promised. But I myself go above and beyond the call of duty. I'm not adding lime to the rice because I want the flavors to be separated. Hello? What's that song by Sublime? You got to, got to, ah, ah, ah. Keep them, ah, ah, separated, ah, ah. Mm -mm -mm. That's rice. That's the offspring. Who cares anymore, man? Who cares anymore? The offspring died. So did 311. So did Sublime. So did all, and so did everything. Where's Sublime now? Probably getting into some wacky hijinks. What is dead may never die. <laughs> uh, cook, stirring occasionally until brown and soft in seven minutes. Salt, pepper. Okay, it's salt, pepper time. Where did I put the pepper? Easily, right here. Dude, I love pepper. I love pepper so much. My dad would always make recipes with pepper. And then every meal, every single meal that he would cook would have so much pepper in it and he would always be sneezing. He would make these meals specifically with such an absurd amount of pepper and the entire meal he would sneeze through it. The entire meal. He must have had, there were 10 sneezes per meal Classic dad stuff. My dad sounds amazing. My dad is amazing, dude. Turn off heat transfer to a medium bowl and cover to keep warm. Okay, I think this is pretty much done. Cover to keep warm, not necessary to me. Pepper burns. Oh, thank you, Super Whoever Girl. Can you make curry for next for unspecified reasons? Asks Curry Bukaki5223. Dude, I wonder if there is a curry meal with HelloFresh. That would be amazing. Have you guys heard of, um, oh, let me figure this out because I ordered this the other day and I've just been getting them nonstop because they're so good. Um, I'm not sure if this is like a traditional dish. Where is it? Bro, it's, they're called lempers, not lepers. Just to be clear, 
It's lemper. It's like curry chicken in, in a little bag of rice. Let's see, lemper. Yo, HelloFresh, please add lempers to your discography. I'm begging you, lempers are so good. No, not lepers, dude, or lemurs, no. Indonesian, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it from an Indonesian place by me. No, not leopards, I'm not eating leopards. What are you guys doing? Yeah, sticky rice with chicken in the middle. Holy, they made curry and rice into spring rolls. Yeah, that's, it's essentially a curry rice spring roll. No, not lamp rice. Wrapped in banana leaf? No, not a lapras. No, not a Lorax, dude. Oh, stop distracting me. All right, um, I have to move these to a plate. And then, and then the beef goes in. Right? That's what's next. Once veggies are done, heat a drizzle of oil in the same pan. Is it olive or is it vegetable? It doesn't say, it just says cooking oil. That means vegetable. Good enough. And then we're gonna get beef in. So, once veggies are done, add turkey, southwest spiced, and remaining chili powder. All right, I need to get my scissors. Where did I put them? <sighs> Somewhere over here, probably. Now, I know I told you before that I use these scissors on something I shouldn't have, but in reality, it was just, uh, it was just this. It was just my little mustache, which you'll notice is a little bit thinner because I did this to it. Okay, but it's, so it's just mustache hair. It's no big deal. Um, so I need to add this to, I need to add both these Southwest Spice and remaining chili powder. Wash the scissors. No time, dude, there's no time. It's just scissors. It's just scissors and it's just face hair, man. It's just space hair, man. Okay, ew. I mean, nice. <laughs> nice, thank you for this brand deal. <laughs> I don't want to touch this raw meat, dude. It's so gross. It's just ground turkey, man. There's nothing dangerous about ground turkey. It's not like chicken. You could eat raw ground turkey anytime you want, and I'm sure HelloFresh is perfectly fine with me spreading that false information. Let's see. I'm gonna wash hands again, because a clean kitchen is a Steve kitchen. Obviously, obvious Steve. And I'm gonna keep looking at the camera. What was it, chili powder and what else? Once veggies are done, turkey, southwest spice, and remaining chili powder. So it's the entirety of the southwest spice, and then is it medium or medium high? Doesn't say. Oh, medium high. Cool. Front, light, big bang, boom. Southwest spice. Okay, so we put all of this in. Then how long am I supposed to cook this for? Three to five minutes. Okay. No big deal. Oh, that's something special. Oh, this is going to be so tasty. Ew, and then I have to eat it in front of you. Well, I don't have to, actually. I could eat it in private. <laughs> For some reason, I get creeped out eating in front of you guys. Not like um, when I do it, you know, in the middle of a gaming stream or something because it doesn't seem like a big deal. I'm just shoving it in to keep the energy up. But something like this where I prepare a meal, I almost feel uncomfortable with you watching me eat after I've prepared a meal. Cook, breaking up meat, Southwest remaining chili powder. Oh, remaining chili powder. Let's go. This is going to be so tasty. Taste Steve. Sorry. But did this ask for salt and pepper too, or no? No, it did not. Stir in stock concentrate. That's after three to five minutes, though. Okay. We win these. Oh, you're probably going to want a close-up of this. This looks kind of nice. Oh yeah, there's the perfect close-up. Oh, can't take it any further than this. Wow. You guys get to see all of that. 
Well, don't I feel like a fool now? That's as far as it goes, and I thought I got a really long extension cable too, but I guess not. I need to start cooking more in this place. Okay, it's 11.45. I need to make note at about three, three, four minutes from now. I add the stock concentrate. I don't even know if I turn off the heat, but maybe. But there are a lot of maybes in the world. And unfortunately, there are a lot of babies in the world, too. People need to stop procreating. It's not in our best interests. We're ruining this world. And only HelloFresh can save you. I'm Steven Septic. Okay. Let's lock this down. Come on, stir better. My little leg is wiggling because it's hard to stir. There's a considerable amount of crime in Alaska. 170 missing persons for every 100,000 residents. Maybe even less, I can't imagine. And that's just a little Alaska fact by Steve. But I guess there are a lot of places to go missing in Alaska. Okay, it's 47, so I add the stock concentrate. Yeah, many are indigenous too. There's, um, I mean, this isn't the time or the place to talk about it, but there's a problem with um, specifically indigenous women. Uh, I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Look, I'm just going to come clean. I've been ordering out a lot recently, and I've been leaving a lot of food around the apartment. And um, I don't have a bug problem, per se. But it's, not, but it's not a bug helpful, you know? Gross. He has flies. No, it's, I left, specifically, I left bananas out. And then I got a bunch of fruit flies. Bugs are protein. That's what I've been saying, man. It was mostly for the bugs. So you do have flies. Why would you order out when you can get HelloFresh? And that's the question I keep asking myself, man. Play with your food, Pob. What are you talking about, man? I'm an adult. I'm a grown man. I saw you bobbing for apples, though. I saw you pobbing for apples. Oh, wait, I have to add the stock concentrate. Where is it? Is it this? Do I turn the heat off? No, I don't. Okay, stir in stock concentrate and splash. Cook until saucy. Okay. This is the stock concentrate, right? Yeah, easily. Stock concentrate is so integral to any good recipe, whether it's beef, chicken, It's all just perfect, makes it taste so good. Stock makes it taste so good. And then we add a little bit of water after this too. I don't think I chopped this bad boy up enough. Come on now, come on. Get around, yeah, definitely, yeah, do it, yeah. All right, bring it, yeah. Okay, we're gonna chop it up, yeah. And it's gonna go around like this, yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay, then we're going to chop it up, add the beef stock, concentrate, yeah. Mate, it's a little splash of water, mate. Just a wee little one. Until it gets saucy. And then I can just leave it in here to cook for a little bit. Perfect. We've got a lot of endurance in this right arm. Okay. What's next? Turn off heat, season with salt and pepper. But I have to cook that until it's saucy. You're from gaming, dude, from Valorant. What are you talking about? Gulp. Well, while we're waiting for that to go, I just want to say um, HelloFresh pre-portioned ingredients means there's less prep for you and less wasted food. 
The packaging HelloFresh uses to ship your food is almost entirely made from recyclable and or already recycled content. That's a huge one. HelloFresh's carbon footprint is 25% lower than that of meals made from store-bought products, I mean store-bought groceries, and they also included a source in its University of Michigan, uh, which declined me when I applied. So I guess we can't really look to University of Michigan for the real answers. Let's see. Or no, that was Michigan State. Never mind, you're fine. You're fine, University of Michigan. Am I reading this of a screen? All right, Manuna, we're gonna take that one back to the start and rewrite that. So we know they have high standards since they turned Steve down. That's disrespectful, Dior. That's so disrespectful. Uh, I turn this off now. Okay, now that's off. Salt and pepper. Stir it around, it's all the same. Um, fluff rice with a fork, stir in lime zest, won't do that, and two and one tablespoon of butter, season with salt and pepper. Oh, we're at the finishing line. The finishing line. Wait, what time is it? It's 11.53, what time did I start that sponsored stream? At 10.30. Wow, this much time's already passed, what the hell? I forgot that movie existed and came out. Steve, how are you doing today? I've had the exact same day that you've had so far, so hopefully the same. But is HelloFresh a comrade at arms willing to keep <laughs> coffee less, dude? Don't bring up unions right now, man. <laughs> Steve, do you fart? Yeah, of course, Eddie. Um, but that being said, every relationship I've ever been in, I have not farted on purpose in front of the other person. I keep it on lock because it's respectful and I don't want them to see me like that. It is very impressive. Oh, but, do you, but you can be so comfortable in front of your significant other when you fart. Yeah, you guys are gross. Stay gross. Don't bring it out. Don't bring your, your toils into public. Get your toiling ass back, back to bed and fill it up with some farts, you loser, you farty loser. <laughs> My husband and I laugh at each other. Now, it probably all depends on the relationship. I'm sure people have successful relationships that fart in front of each other. And I'm sure there are many that don't because of the farts. Um, what am I doing? Fluff rice with a fork. I'll need a fork, yeah, definitely. This was what I was using before. Oh wait, I'm on literally the finish, the finish line. Okay, so then divide rice between bowls. Oh, oh, I get to make my little bowl now. Mm, new bowl. We're gonna get a close up for this because we're actually building it now. It's this bad boy right there. You won't be able to see my face, but you don't need to anyway. Okay, here, here we go. So fluff rice with a fork, did that divide rice between bowls and top with turkey and veggies. So we put the rice in here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's something special. Just a little bit of rice, half the rice, because there's two servings per, perfect. Okay, we got the rice in there. Sweet God, he's using silverware on coated pans. Yeah, but I'm not touching the edge as much. Um, what's the next part of this? Uh, divide rice between bowls and top of turkey and veggies. Turkey and veggies. And also this pan, this thing was like 10 bucks. I need to get a better one. But then again, it does the job. So we, get, we add the little turkey bits on this. I'm going to try not to make it add, because uh, I, I don't think I cooked it long enough to where it got more saucy than juicy, which isn't exactly a problem, but it is to me because I want it to be more saucy than juicy. I could just put it back on the pan and keep it cooking, which I've decided is what I will do. But now I'm also going to forget about it, which is a bummer. Are you the type to share with me right now? I'm so hungry. Pop, are you in LA right now? Uh, divide rice between bowls and top of turkey and veggies. Okay, veggies not. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I wondered what noise that was briefly, but it's just them cooking. Okay, so then we put this on top. 
and then we're good to go. And then I think the crema after this, I'm pretty sure. Another gnat on my hand. Bastard. Okay, we're good. Drizzle with crema, top with Monterey Jack, and Pico de Gallo. Oh, this is, wait, oh no. Oh, damn it. These are the veggies. I already put the Pico de Gallo on. No. Well, if I done, well, whatever, it's all the same. It's all going into the same thing. This isn't a big deal. We're gonna add a lot of veggies to this. And then, what is the last part? What was the next thing? It was drizzle with crema, top with Monterey Jack. I have Monterey Jack? Oh, let's go. No brainer recipe. Yeah, but that was just one mistake. I actually don't want too much cheese because I don't feel like being gassy. But then again, I think cheese is supposed to make you constipated, not gassy. That's enough cheese for me. Um, Pico de Gallo already did that. Serve with tortilla chips and remaining lime wedges on the side. Well, let's bring over the chair. It's eating time. Why are my neighbors mad at me? Why is my downstairs neighbor so mad at me? Hmm. This comes with tortilla chips. That's brilliant. Oh. Try to live vicariously through me for this. It'll be pretty tough, but still doable. But imagine this is you. Imagine you're this tortilla chip, and I've killed you because I've eaten you. Just imagine that. Too difficult. I'm going to eat it separately. Mm. You feel like this meal needs a glass of wine? A lot of HelloFresh meals would need a glass of wine. Yo, Fugly Puff, thank you for the sub. They said, don't forget your juicy sauce on the burner. You think that'll make it better? Oh, I think I dried up all the, all the sauce in that last bit, but it didn't really become sauce. It became, hmm. Use a little bit more salt. Fork, fork time. You're having weird deja vu. Is it because you've seen this stream before? This is a pre recorded stream. Show us. You got it. It's a bowl, so it, it, isn't, it doesn't look as cool as a lot of the meals. But yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it, right? It looks pretty good, right? There you go. Yeah. Not exactly the best lighting for it. I'll show you down there. Yeah, there we go. This is what it looks like. I'm still waiting for myself to show up on camera. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it's super fresh. Hello? You know, before I eat this, I just want to give a quick... Shout out to HelloFresh. HelloFresh is committed to making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever and has taken extra steps to keep its employees and customers safe. But what does that mean? HelloFresh donated over 4 million meals to charity in 2020 and this year is stepping up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis, which is real. And I know a lot of you guys don't think it is, but it really is, man. I know every single one of you guys thinks that it's not a real thing. And I, and I keep telling you that's so disrespectful. How have you not noticed this crisis that we're in? 
But a lot of you guys are just super rich. So things just don't affect you like they affect other people, you know? You're making this meal tonight too? Wait, Gilligan, what are people saying about my silverware? Are people disrespecting my silverware? Did he add the sour cream? Um, yeah, the cream of... Did I add the sour cream? Oh, I didn't. I'm not like the biggest fan of sour cream. But I'll do it for this. Oh, you're saying... You, oh, only it was only you saying you like it. I thought you were countering somebody. I like it too. Thought it was interesting. Black silverware too, yeah. It's just on Amazon. Dude, that tastes good. Oh my god. And just as a reminder, so you can have FOMO, this is exactly what I'm eating right now. Turkey fajita bowls with blue corn tortilla chips. <gasps> Idea. Go, Steve. Oh, it's just like tomato soup and, and those weird little hexagon crackers. Oh. You're ruining it. Oscar, come on, man. There's no point in not trying. Please don't look at me while I eat. I'm so smart. I mean, in the scheme of things, you watch all these other streamers, but they're never going to do something like that. They're never going to bring a chip and crunch it over a meal they've already made. Mm. Look what I've done. Look at me now. Dude, if my parents were watching this, they wouldn't be able to get uh, probably past the account making process because you'd need a, to be 18 plus to watch the stream. But if my parents made it past that, that technical barrier, I think they'd be really proud of me. I think they'd be really, really stoked to see what I've become. No, I'm not saying my parents are younger than 18. I'm saying my parents, I don't think they would be able, I don't think they'd have it in them to make it past an account making page, which I think they'd need to, to watch this stream, right? Why is your pinky finger so bent? Now that's a great and super disrespectful question. <laughs> But let's really take a look at this pinky finger. Is it that bent? And if it is, why? Why are my fingers like this? And before you go on WebMD and tell me that I have some bone disease, no, that's going to hurt me, man. All pinkies are like that. Thank you, Gilligan. And we thank you for that. Everyone's pinkies that misshapen. I'm not very knuckly, dude. I have some bone disease. It's not gingivitis, man. Stop making me talk with my mouth open. I fixed you. Can you hear that? Can you hear my chair? Dude, I WMD 40 that so long ago. I'm so excited to have this meal at the ready. Neighbor is going to hate that squeaky chair again. Maybe that's part of it. Wait, is it not called WMD 40? WD 40? Is it W? Wait, WMD. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here I am thinking you're a loser, yet I'm still watching you. It's okay, man. There's nothing bad about this. IMDB40. Remember when you threatened to ban me for saying WD40? For saying WD40 isn't a lubricant, haha? -ha? Well, let's take a dive back into the past. Why was I going to ban you for saying WD-40 isn't a lubricant? Because you'd, you'd assume that it is. How are the fajitas? Very good. 
they taste so healthy. That's a that's another thing I just uh, I love about HelloFresh is everything just tastes like you don't have a meal and then regret it afterwards, which is ninety percent of well has been ninety percent of my meals lately. Because they were questioning you, probably. You feel good after eating it? Well, nobody ever feels good about anything. But this is the closest we can get to true happiness, is with a HelloFresh meal. <laughs> I do anything and regret it afterwards. That's my kind of guy. The mustache is double of what it was the last stream, but the cooking skills are too. Does HelloFresh deliver to Europe? That's a great question. And I'm sure HelloFresh would love to answer that for you. In fact, I, can, I could even Google it right now. Which I will. Which I will Google it literally right now. Does HelloFresh deliver to Europe? Um, took too long to Google. Oh, eight European countries. It delivers to Germany, United Kingdom, Belgium, and the Netherlands, Luxembourg. Of course, Luxembourg it has to be part of this, dude. I bet you they were the... Dude, I bet you everyone in Europe was getting HelloFresh, and Luxembourg was like, wait, can I all... Wait, guy. And, they, and the rest of the countries were like, ah, fine, Luxembourg, fine, dude. Because really, let's get some water. Yeah, they decided it at NATO, dude. They decided at NATO that they were all going to have HelloFresh. What about Australia? Bro. Yes, it also goes to Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and Sweden. Oh, of course Sweden has it, dude. The richest northern Donnie, of course. Ooh, I'm going to get another bite. Mmm. And there that heat. Oh, and there that heat from when I left in all the jalapenos, and that's perfect, man. Bro, put any habanero in front of me, and I'm going to take it down like a beast. Any habanero. Cold, wet, live, dead, dry. It's not going to matter, man. I'm going to down it, not have any stomach issues, power through it like it's nothing, which it won't be anything. Can you handle really hot, hot sauces? Mmm. I used to be able to a lot more because my dad... He kept bringing home this sauce that he would use in everything. I don't know if he thought it was cool or if he just really liked it, but, I, but it was an acquired taste for me for sure. But he would put it in every, every piece of food that we ever, not every piece, but it was, it was a sauce called spontaneous combustion. But it's like one of those sauces that's a ridiculous sauce, right? Like it's not meant for consumption. But he would just douse stuff in it. So you just learn to love that, I guess. So I think I learned to love spicy, spicy food because of my pharynx. Like you are supposed to use a drop, yeah, which, which he did not. So I just grew up on that. That's the name of a local improv troupe where you live. It sounds like a nightmare, Grace. Is your dad's tummy okay? Dude, my dad was farty. He was a machine, bro. Yeah, literally fart zaddy. Yep. Was? Is, probably. I just have no way of knowing because there's been a pandemic. Is that why you don't fart now? Did your dad fart in front of your mom? You know what? I don't think, I think he tried not to, and I think that's where I picked up, um, what's the word? Um, manners. That's what it was. Steve's been traumatized by farts. 
Dude, nothing makes me laugh like a fart, though. Nothing. There's nothing funnier than a fart, and I'm sorry, HelloFresh, that, that I'm taking time out of, out of your sponsored bit. Obviously, the food has been amazing. We finished it, though. But now it's time to talk about farts. You could die from farting, and that would be even funnier, man. And that's the funniest way to die. Imagine dying from farting. That's not funny at all. That's something really sad. That's something really sad, but also hasn't, it won't be funny, dude. I agree, suck freak. I agree, dude. That's a tragedy. Dying from a fart would be a modern tragedy. And we're gonna do a quick Google. Has anyone died from farting? There have been documented cases of flatulence during surgery being inadvertently ignited, causing patient injury and risk of death. Wait a sec, this article says how a fart killed 10,000 people. What? Farting has caused wars, been obsessed over by... Farts inspired Freud? Farting, how did they kill 10,000 people? How did a fart kill 10,000 people? Oh, it's the Daily Beast. Oh, who cares? That's not a real article. How a fart killed 10,000 people, hashtag ad. I read something that was like, if you don't laugh at farts, you're choosing to have the same number of farts in your life, but with fewer laughs. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's like when people say farts aren't funny, but they're inevitable. So do you just like, bop, and then just ignore it? What kind of life is that, man? That's so sad to just have a fart and ignore it. Like I get keeping it held in, you know, in respect for your significant other. Right? Like, I'm not going to Dutch oven someone that I'm with. That's so dis... Dude, that's so disrespectful. If I got Dutch ovened... No, I would think it'd be funny for sure. Yeah, it'd be really funny now that I'm thinking about it. There's nothing... And there's nothing wrong with that, man. I'm so glad you played with Mini Minter before. My two worlds collide. Yeah, Simon seems like a good guy. Okay, we are fully disagreeing here. They aren't funny, but holding them in is a crime. Lamau, dude, and you're getting held under there, bro. That's so, that's so funny. <laughs> there is something about a Dutch oven that's um, really funny. Really sad, too. Super depressing. I've trained myself not to fart because of gender norms. <laughs> bro, I'm so afraid of farting in front of anybody. And except for, like, James and Kib. This unlocked a new side of comedy for me. Dude, Pop didn't know about farts before this. A moderator farted, clicked to... <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Britta. Britta. No. Britta, no. Britta, no. Britta, no. Britta, no. Britta. <laughs> oh no, no, stop touching it. Oh no, my glasses are all smeared. Oh, this is a disaster. Um. Uh, add ec extra dinners to your lunches, to your weekly order, throw in extra proteins, or add in yummy meal compliments like HelloFresh's best-selling garlic bread. Easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. Uh, oh. I did wash my hands. I washed them so many times. Can't read copy anymore, Sag. Wash it again. <sighs> yeah, what do I have to do? All of my friends are able to crack their knuckles and crack like every piece of their body and have a really devastating sound. Um, something that really perturbs you when you hear it. Now, I've been cracking my knuckles for a very long time now, probably a solid month of just constant cracking, and they don't seem to be getting any louder, man. 
I also can't whistle. Why can't I whistle? They're just built differently. So why, why am I given these long, terrible fingers? Fingers that just don't look normal, and I can't even do anything cool with it. All I can do is that generic thing that every kid on the school bus did, which was this, you know? This is, this is bull. This sucks. That's so sad. No one cool does that for poking stuff. Sure, I can poke stuff fine then. Just play the piano, dude. Yeah, my left hand sucks though. You can do creepy things when you point. It doesn't look creepy when I point, dude. Literally nothing. Look over there. Uh-oh, guys. I think something's over in that direction. I guess we'd better check it out. I think it's just over there. Literally nothing creepy about that. You guys are being ridiculous. Doob. That really does make me squirm. I can do that too, but my fingers look nicer. Salad fingers. This is very uncomfortable. Wow, his hands look exactly like he draws hands. It makes sense now. Skeleton finger gang. I'm incredibly upset. Tree branch fingies. That's sad. Are you about to do electric zaps? Hand model when? Oh God, that's terrifying. Yikes, Steve. Shrimps. Makes my stomach hurt. God bless America. You should try pointing it like a really rude way that's got potential. <laughs> that threw me off. Gianna Lucia, thank you for the prime. They said boob. Bang, 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 carrot finger gang. Can't tell which way you are pointing. I'm pointing this way, man. Well, uh, is it, can't, you, can't you tell? Oh, what's over there? Oh, you can't even see the fingers, damn. Well, they're just, uh, just off in that direction. Like, imagine, imagine you're out and you hear some startling noise off to the side and you think, ah! Guys, right over in that direction, there's something that we gotta keep an eye on. And that's exactly how I do that. Oh, hi, Mike. You should do the pointing challenge edge. You're still pointing two different directions. Guys, we gotta look just in that direction. Just right over there, there's something. You know, wherever my head points? Menon, thank you for the prime. You're going to vomit. I'll get, I'll get you, Harry Potter. <laughs> It's like having a lazy eye, but with your hands. Now, that's so disrespectful, man, and we're going to have to ban you for that. Man, that's something really sad. That upsets me, man. Yeah, Val, you can get a shout-out. Shout-out, Val. I'm st I stepped on an onion. <laughs> Way too dank. Shout me out, man. Sorry, Eddie. No, thanks. I'm going to have to pass on that one. Sorry, which way again? Steve, can you... No well, it would be this way. Steve, can you notice me? I sharded... Britta, come on. He read to deleted comment. It's tough to know which ones are going to be deleted, you know? Sorry I keep saying it. I want Steve to see it because I need validation today. What did you say, Grace? Did you say, some, did you say something pretty useful? What did Grace say? I bet it's something that's, that's really respectful, something that we all need to see. So let's, we're going to click on Grace's name, and then we're going to go to... Uh, well, first we're going to reject friend request, and then we're going to go down to messages. And we're going to see, what did you say, Grace? Hopefully something special, right? It's got to be something good. You said, today at 13.35, 1.35 p.m., I'm officially one year free of SH. I couldn't have made it this far without your stream, so thank you so much. I proofread. Go, Grace. Go, Grace. Go, Grace. What is SH? Let's go. I'm so proud of you, Grace. What is that? Go, Grace. Is that a school? Oh, go, Grace. Not a school. Not a school. Let's have some food, shall we? Because it's almost ending time. Almost ending time. Yo, I'll be the bird. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. They said, I'm proud of your very, hello, very fresh meal. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you know what I need to say, though? I need to remind you, if you've forgotten, you can use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code SteveSuptic14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. That's something special. 
And that's something we could all use. Dude, HelloFresh is just a staple. <laughs> Sorry, PJ. I'll keep the conversation off farts. Dude. <laughs> 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 you got it, bud. Hmm. I thought that would be an easy one. Uh, everybody talked about it. Poor PJ, man. I'm getting stuck with me. How many meals are in one box? I forget if you can do, I mean, I'm sure you can do any amount that you want, but who knows. I do um, three boxes a week. PJ just trying to do their job, you know, poor bastard, man. Do you think this PJ's favorite sponsor stream? No, I think this is probably the most stressful one for him. I imagine. VIPJ? Yeah, let's get, let's get PJ, PJ VIP. Is he in here? Oh yeah, big time. Big time. And he's still sweating, but he's sweating less because he knows it's towards the end. VIP AO PJ. I believe that's it. Oh. Cool. We're, we're going to work on. <laughs> well, we're going to work on this after the stream, PJ. I'm going to make sure you get, you get verified in this chat or VIP'd. How could that go wrong? I don't understand. And he's added. What did I type before? Bro, I typed the exact same thing that I did. The exact same way. I can't believe that. All right, PJ, why don't you talk in chat so we can see how cool you look now. This is something really special. This is so embarrassing, bestie. It's not embarrassing, man. I don't know why it, it didn't go. Ah, oh, Dube wants to be VIP'd. Well, unfortunately, you can't be a moderator and a VIP dupe. Just like you can't be a police officer and a veterinarian. You know? Sorry, bud. That's just how it goes. Oh, wait, did PJ talk? Is PJ in here right now? He's got to be. Just too many messages, man. Too many messages. Oh, wait, there. Oh, that VIP thing was pretty nice on you, bud. That's pretty cool. I think you're going to dig that. You're looking like a rock star, man. We are reaching the end of the stream, though. Is it Gardic phone with the gods tomorrow? I don't know what the God Raiders and I are going to do tomorrow morning, but... I can ask everybody today if they want to do Gardic phone. What does VIP do? I think literally nothing. Steve, are you taking suggestions for VIP? Sorry, I got a brief hint of spice. Yo, Bonology, thank you for the sub. Yeah, I'd love to do Valo with the mods. But I know some of them don't have it. Um, potentially others, it'll be difficult for them to play. No, Pop, get a grip on reality, man. We are doing Cody's because I say so. Okay, Val wants to do code names tomorrow. Dude, I'm not, I'm down for code names. Finish crossword. No, it's a short stream today. But we'll be back to a normal, we'll be back to normal tomorrow. Did I know that Val is radiant? I did not know that, man. Shadow Niche, zero one, thank you for the prime. Okay, I'm gonna just end this. But before I do, I'm just going to remind you one more time. You can use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code SteveSuptic14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. Now, that's something special. And obviously, obviously, I, I look like a fool after I tweeted three times, and that's something I'm going to have to live with. But I think that's going to be my last tweet for, for the foreseeable future, and then I never have to deal with that again. So... 
the future's looking bright is what I'm trying to say. And it's especially bright because of HelloFresh. And your future could be just as bright if you secure those three meals a week, man. Or the 14 free meals. Hope you will have more cooking streams. Yeah, there will definitely be another HelloFresh stream, I'm pretty sure. Or, or unless they say no, dude, which I could totally see. Maybe you'll get verified again. Dude, I'm never going to be verified on Twitter, and that's something I'm totally fine with. Oh, you know what? I have to change this to the outro screen. Thank you, HelloFresh, for this. This is something special. Truly. I love making HelloFresh meals. It's relaxing. It gets me going. It makes me happy. And not a lot of things do. It's either this or I watch my little programs, you know. It's either me cooking or I watch the little programs. And that's about it. Truly, thank you, HelloFresh, for giving me this opportunity. PJ, what's the, what's the after stream report? How did that look? How did all this look besides the fart talk? How was everything else? Did it all work out? Steve recommend us a movie? The Wailing. This has been an unqualified success. <laughs> yeah, it's just a short stream today. Oh my God, all my movie recommendations on there are so... Ugh. I think I'm gonna get rid of that command. <laughs> Everything was beautiful, even the caramelizing. No way I actually did this right, barely. <laughs> Is PJ the HelloFresh plant? It's not for you, Steve. No, I know. It's just I'll look at those movie recommendations and just think, uh, people already know everything about those movies, right? I need to, I need to start um, suggesting more, more unique movies that maybe people haven't actually seen. But, dude, everyone's seen There Will Be Blood. Yo, The Rabbit Hole. Thanks for the five bucks. I said, when's the next episode of Minecraft Newlyweds? That's a great question, man. And, unfortunately, this is when you're banned. Like Parasite? No, par everyone knows Parasite. Raid Janet or Ifa? Didn't I raid Ifa recently? Did I raid? I haven't raided Janet in a long time. Dude, let's totally raid Janet. I always give Janet my uh, my sponsored stream raids for some reason. It's been an absolute pleasure for both you guys and for HelloFresh. Have a blessed day. Sorry I talked about farts. <laughs> Recommend movies from the... Hey, go watch Ron. Hey, there's my recommendation to you. Go watch Kurosawa's Ron. There you go. There's my recommendation for the, for the weekend. What day is it today? Is it the weekend? Yeah, it's Friday. Have, have Ron watched by, the, by Monday, or we're not talking anymore. Okay? You understand? Okay, we're going to be seeing you. Okay, bye-bye. No, R-A-N by Kurosawa. There you go. There's your, there's your uh, movie for the weekend. Bye-bye, everybody. Every 